Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.8 of the My Linux for Work files for Hyperland is now available for you to download. And there are some new applications, the new calendar app and the new sidebar that are replacing the AGS based sidebar and calendar from the last version. In addition, the apps now support light mode so you can switch from dark mode to light mode and give your system a completely new look and feel. The other big change is that I have replaced Dunst with Sway NC. Sway NC comes with more features with a do not disturb mode with a notification history and much more. At the end of the video, I want to tell you a bit more what I have planned in the next versions of the My Linux for dot files for Hyperland. If you like that video and if you like the dot files, please subscribe to the channel and give that video a like. And with that, let's jump in. After a fresh installation of the myninuxwork.files for Hyperland, you will get this screen. In the middle, the welcome app. At the top, waybar, the status bar. And at the bottom, a doc. This is nwg doc Hyperland. And you see here the new layout of the myninuxwork.files welcome app. You can access the settings app and the Hyperland settings app here directly. You have here the possibility to show all key bindings that are available on your system. Here you see it. And you can access some installation options to tweak some of the core settings of your system. Here under the three dots, you have access to the main um, information resources, to the dot files, the GitHub, the Wiki, Changelog, and the YouTube channel, and the Hyperland homepage, Hyperland Wiki, and so on and so on. So this is the new layout of the Welcome app. But the new version 2.9.8 comes with more new applications. Now as Flatpak, when you click here on the upper right side on the clock, then you see here the new calendar app, also based on GTK4 libadvisor. And you see here the current date. You can move to another month, year. And when you click on today, it jumps back to the today's day. And this can even a bit more. You see here that events button. And when I click here the three dots, I can click here on settings. And on settings, I can define the command that will be executed when you click the events button. In my case, it opens evolution. Here is evolution. But of course, you can also change this to Thunderbird, whatever you use as your calendar application. So this is the new calendar app. Let's close it. And we come to another new app. This is the sidebar. You see, this is the new sidebar and the new sidebar replaces the AGS based sidebar from the last version. And this comes with a lot of new features. Again, you have access to here to the core My News for Work apps directly. So if you want to start the welcome app, you click, can click here or the settings app or the Hyperland app. So everything is there. You have also access to the wallpaper settings with Waypaper, and you can change the wallpaper. Yeah, for example, let's choose this one. Yeah, so very easy to access. Let's open it again. Because here in that drop down menu, you can also activate the random wallpaper settings, the wallpaper effects, and you can set the current wallpaper as a background image for SDDM and then the Sequoia theme of um, SDDM will use it. Themes. I come to that later. Waybar, you can also set a waybar theme when you click here and search, for example, um, white, blur white, and then you have on top the blur white theme. Yeah, and you can, of course, set it again to modern white and then you have the modern white theme. If you don't need the way bar, yeah, then you can toggle it and you can even toggle the dock. And then, then you have a completely clear 
workspace where you can focus, for example, to your terminal applications and yeah, work in that format. But you can also bring it back easily. Just toggle it again. And the dock and waybar are back. You see here the game mode. If you toggle the game mode, all of the effects of Hyperland will be disabled. So now we have the effects disabled. Let's bring this back. Yeah, a one pixel border. Um, no gaps between the windows and also the animations have been disabled. So when I switch to another workspace, there's no animations anymore. This brings a lot of performance improvements to your system and you can bring it back. Here is the game mode switched off again and you see the animations are back. The button here is to take a screenshot. Yeah, so I can immediately take a screenshot, I capture everything and I can save it to my disk. We have also an emoji picker. So let's open for that demonstration the GNOME editor. And let's open here another tab. And now I can here click on emoji picker and you see here the emojis that are available. And I click here the smiling face. And when I paste the emoji into the text editor, you see that it is appearing here. Very straightforward. And last but not least, the color picker. I can pick a color and paste it in the application where I need it. Coming now to a feature that have, has been requested a lot. It's the light theme. And I can enable that light theme with NWG look. Let's open before that some applications. For example, here the Nautilus file manager. Let's put it to the floating mode. Then also Firefox. Here is Firefox. At the moment here is Pywall Fox activated. I will disable that. Now I, the system is using the system theme also in the floating mode. And let's start with these two apps. Let's open the sidebar again and click on set theme. And I can switch here to prefer light. And when I click here on apply, you see that all applications are switching to the light theme, including the sidebar, yeah, Firefox, Nautilus. So all applications that are GTK based are now switched to light theme. And if you toggle the dock, you see that also the dock has now a light theme. And that looks very clear, very also very modern. And I know a lot of you like that. And if you also bring the wallpaper to a light theme version, you can use the wallpaper effects. Yeah, so let's use a wallpaper effect and negate the wallpaper with 60%. Well, that looks also very interesting. Let's switch to another wallpaper with super key shift W. Yeah, that looks good. And again, you see that here also the when Linux for Work apps are in the light mode, including the welcome app, but also the settings app. Here is the settings app. The settings app has been restructured. So you see that we have a waiver section. It's a bit more consolidated uh, where you can also set some waiver functions and features. For example, the number of workspaces can be extended here from five to six in that case. And you can hide and unhide the modules in waiver. You have here the appearance section where you can also then toggle the dock, toggle the game mode, where you can also set some Rofi parameters, blur settings, and so on, wallpaper, wallpaper effects. And here are the default applications, hyper idle, monitor variations of the monitor, the screen resolution settings, and all other variations are here. So here you can really customize your system. 
And you can go even deeper with the Hyperland settings app, which is currently not a flat pack in this version. I'm, I'm working on it. And with the next version, also the Hyperland settings app will be a flat pack. And then you can install it easily, also independently from the dot files. Let's remove the border a bit to zero. Yeah, and then you have also a great look and feel for that light theme. Okay, coming to another big change of the system. Let's change it again, the wallpaper. What I mean is the new notification applications that is now part of the dot files. I switched from Dunst to Sway NC. You see here on top that bell icon. And if you click the bell icon, Sway NC opens. And it brings some um, features. You have here on top a do not disturb functions. You see that now all of the notifications have been disabled. You can bring it back. You can lock the screen. You can mute your audio. Yeah, you see here now audio is muted. You have access to Bluetooth information and you can shut down the system. You have here the loudness, the volume of your system. And here in the middle, a history of notify sends, and you can then delete selected ones, or you can clear all notifications. Yeah, much more powerful than before. And you have here some interesting features. With escape, you can close it. On waybar, last but not least, you see here the icons for the quick links. And if you want to change that, you can do this from the sidebar, waybar, edit quick links. And then your default editor opens and you have access to the quick links. And you see that with this version, I bring some more default quick links. Yeah, for example, for Edge, Chromium, so some um, applications that you may want to use, Thunderbird icon. And you can just enable them and add them here into the modules list. And then you can create your own custom quick links here on top. If you want to hide the chat GPT icon, then you can do this in the settings app. Yeah, and that is the new version 2.9.8 of the MyLinuxWork.files for Hyperland. I hope you like the new features, the new apps, because that's the idea that you get with the MyLinuxWork.files, a full featured system that you can use in your daily work. In the next version, I will rebuild the installation completely. I will disconnect the installation of the dot files from the installation of the packages and from the installation of Hyperland. That means you can install with a dedicated application a base system of Hyperland if you like it. With the package application, you can install in your system the required packages for the dot files or any other custom configuration that you like. And with a separate dot files installation, I can support all distributions that support Hyperland and the required modules. So with the new version that is planned, I can finally go much broader into all distributions that you use on your system. I hope these are good news for those who have not the chance to use the MyLinuxWork.files so far. And with that, see you next time.